What's up everyone, welcome back. I know it's been a while, but in this video, I wanna catch you guys up on what projects I've been working on and planning and what videos I have planned in the future. So we've just sort of wrapped up the Raspberry Pi, Movidius NCS, Rock64 tutorial series. And I think we're at a point where I'd like to show how to make some custom models, how to train them, and then get them running on the NCS. But in order to do that, I think I need to brush up on my TensorFlow and possibly do some learning with CAFE since the NCS seems to work nicer with CAFE. So what I have planned is a TensorFlow intro or basics tutorial series where we sort of start from the beginning, train some simple models and work our way up to the example models in the TensorFlow examples folder, things like ResNet, Inception, stuff like that, and then hopefully build some custom models we can run. And I'd like to also um, do some learning with CAFE. Um, I've never used it before other than these pre-built models that we compile and run on NCS, but I think it'll be good to try that out as well. So TensorFlow tutorial series and possibly a CAFE tutorial series. So I've also gone ahead and picked up another board from Pine64. So what you see here is the Rock64 Pro. And this thing has a lot more features, a lot more specs or better specs compared to Rock64. So it's got a six core CPU, four of them are Cortex A52, uh, normal low power um, cores. And then there's two high performance cores, which are the Cortex 72. So this thing should have a lot more CPU power. It's got more IO ports, uh, USB 3, USB type C. There's the normal like um, IO ports or IO pins. There's a ton of those all over it. It actually has this, oops, this PCIe um, connection here. So I think that's a four lane PCIe connection. Um, it's, you know, also got uh, gigabit ethernet, HDMI. It has, I don't know if you can see these, these are, um, these are dual camera ports here. And then there's a bunch of other ones. Um, not sure what these are, these, uh, white ones here, but it's got a ton of ports on it. I've got it with the EMMC memory. So in future videos, when we are testing NCS, I'm going to be using this because it should be performing a lot better than rock 64. And also what's not shown here is they actually have a new model called the rock 64 pro AI edition. So that one has an additional, they call it an NPU, a neural processing unit. So basically it has the same um, deep learning acceleration chip like you'd see in um, like the Movidius NCS, but built into the chip. So actually Pine64 had reached out to me um, because they saw my video on setting up Rock64 and they offered to send me one. So I should be receiving that soon. When that comes in, I'll be doing a full video on it, probably a walkthrough demo, and then trying to get that NPU working and running models on it. Um, not really sure how that's going to go because it all sounds new, but we'll figure it out as we go. And as soon as I get it, I'll be showing you guys. And now to show you guys why I haven't been posting for so long. Well, I've been working on this thing here for a while. So I went ahead and built a new PC. It's mainly from used parts and some free parts I got from a recycling center. But basically the specs are, I've got a 4930K, that's an i7 six core 12 thread CPU. It's X79, so I had to get an Asus X79 Sabertooth motherboard which was pretty expensive. These things are pretty rare. So I paid a little more than I wanted to for it, but that's the CPU and motherboard. The GPUs are AMD R9 R280 OCX. So they're the gigabyte version, three gigabytes each. So six gigabytes total. These ones I got for free at a recycling center. Um, there's a cooler master CPU cooler, some cheap case and a, 850 watt EVGA gold power supply also put 32 gigs of DDR3 memory in it so with everything grand total it was just over $600 probably could have saved a little money um, going with like 16 gigs instead of 32 but 
yeah, anyways, that's still pretty good, um, especially considering the CPU has a higher pass mark score than my 5820K. So this thing should be performing just as good as my main PC. And, you know, my main PC, I spent over $700 just on the CPU and GPU alone. So why did I build this thing when I've already got a PC and a laptop? Well, we've done setup videos for TensorFlow on Windows. We've done setup videos on Linux. And the only thing left to do is a setup video on Mac OS. So the goal with this thing is to do a Hackintosh. And I'm still trying to get this thing working. So far, I'm kind of stuck on installing Mac OS. But I will push through and I will get this thing working. And when I do, you will see a video on how to set up TensorFlow on on Mac OS. I believe it's possible to compile TensorFlow with OpenCL using um, AMD cards. Um, I've read in forums that people have done that. But if I can't do that, then we will be setting up Cafe on this thing and running Cafe on Mac OS. So yeah, this thing has been kind of fun to build and kind of frustrating to build. Um, one thing I, I really wouldn't recommend going with used parts from eBay, maybe like one or two parts, like say memory or a CPU or something like that. But I really wouldn't recommend getting everything used just because it, this thing was a huge pain to troubleshoot. I didn't realize it, but this motherboard had an early BIOS version and it didn't, the BIOS version didn't support the CPU that I had in there. So every time I turn it on, I get the CPU error. Um, and I'm not sure what it is. It took lots and lots of digging to finally figure out it was the BIOS. And then I had to, I actually couldn't update the BIOS because you need a working CPU to do that. Even though they have this flashback feature on the motherboard, that thing doesn't work. So I had to buy a BIOS chip, install that. Once it was installed, everything was working. So now the computer's working. I'm just having trouble getting Mac OS installed. So besides the new Rock 64 Pro, the new PC slash Hackintosh build I'm doing, I've also sort of been accumulating ThinkPads. And yeah, I mean, you can find them pretty cheap on eBay. So I've been usually looking for the as is or not working ones under $50 ideally. But I've gotten two T61s. I still have my T420S, which I use all the time. And then also this X60. So with the T61, I've got another one coming and the plan is to build like a totally specced out T61. So I've got a um, Intel T9500 Core 2 Duo. So this is one of the highest spec ones you can put in there. Um, I've got another T61 with a 1440 by 900 display. And it's also got a motherboard with a Quadro NVS 140 um, GPU. So that'll be like an ultimate specced out T61. And I've also got a X230 coming just because I found one for cheap. So I'd like to have one of the more modern um, X series ones. And lastly, if you guys have any questions to me about the channel, about computers, deep learning, whatever, feel free to leave them below. And in a future video, I'll do a Q&A video where I go through and answer all those questions. So pretty much anything goes. So go ahead and leave those questions below and stay tuned for the TensorFlow tutorial series, the Rock 64 Pro AI um, demo and setup um, video slash video series. And for the Hackintosh, deep learning on a Mac, setting up TensorFlow or Cafe on a Macintosh series. And yeah, that's going to do it for this one. Stay tuned for the next one and I'll see you guys later. Peace.